God lighting behind me. We are playing Jenny Fay, and we are hoping to Winnie Fay against our historic brawl opponents. Jenny. <laughs> Hey, 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 welcome to the Attic Manadad here, playing Ginny Fay in Historic Brawl. And if you're watching this video the day it comes out, it's a Tuesday, so it is Tribal Tuesday. We're not just playing the usual Ginny Fay, we're playing Cat Tribal Ginny Fay. That's right, Ginny is a cat lady. Not a dog lady in this version of the deck, she is a cat lady. And what does she do if she would create one or more tokens? She instead creates that many 2-2 two, two green cat creature tokens with haste. Never mind the dog option. And when we do that, we will maybe perhaps buff them with lords like Kihira the Orphan Guard, which I feel like should work as a companion, but Ginny Fey is not a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast, so it wouldn't let me submit the deck with it as companion, but um, if you happen to use Yetmir Nexus of Revels instead of Ginny Fey for this deck, it would work because um, Yetmir is a cat. Anyways, and this deck is, is uh, I think, otherwise 100% Kahira legal. But anyways, so we have a lot of cats. Um, we also have, where is it? Feline Sovereign. This is our other cat lord. 2-3, plus 1, plus 1, and protection from dogs. And... We have lions, well, we have Garrison Cat, which dies into a 1-1 one -one human so soldier token, which hopefully will be a cat instead. We have Lion Sash, which is Graveyard Hate, and an Equipment Cat. We have Feral Prowler, which dies into a card. You could probably cut that one. <laughs> Initiate's Companion, which untaps stuff. You could probably cut this one. But, you know, we're trying to max cats here. We got the Black Market Tycoon, which taps to create a treasure token, which we can turn into a cat with our commander. We got Yetnir's Fixer, which is a cat warrior, which pumps with treasure tokens, but, you know, we probably don't have to. We got Civil Servant, which can be pumped by other citizens to get plus one, plus zero, and lifelink. Um, Generous Stray, it just draws us the card right as soon as it comes out. Jewel Thief, 3-3 three, three Vigilance Trample, and makes a treasure token, which could be a cat. We've got the Penumbra Bob Bobcat, which dies into yet another cat token. And we got the Cub Warden, which when it mutates makes two 1-1 one, one white cat creature tokens with lifelink, which could be two twos with haste instead. We've got Felidar Retreat, which when we drop a land can make cat tokens. We've got the Leonin War Leader, when it attacks makes cat tokens. We've got a Seekers Chariot, which unfortunately in Historic Brawl is alchemized, so you only get the one green cat token, but it does crew for only two. And it does still um, create a token when it attacks, so that can be useful. Uh, we got the Frondland Felidar, which is a 3-5 cat beast and uh, helps creatures with vigilance. So if they're all getting vigilance from Kahira Orphangar, that's a little combo, little mini combo there. And we also got Yetmir. You can build a deck around Yetmir if you want to just go wide and use a lot of these same cards. So this is kind of, you know, a budget in the sense that a lot of these things do double duty. And budget in the sense that you know a lot of these cats are just commons or uncommons um so that kind of fills out the deck if you don't have all the you know fun expensive uh stuff like ephemerate swords to plowshares lightning bolt these things that were not originally printed at rare but unfortunately on arena you got to burn rare wild cards to get um we got march of otherworldly light that's whatever that's removal but this one's good this is removal or we can create x X1 red elemental creature tokens with trample and haste, so that's pretty cool. Um, we're going to be creating a ton of tokens in this deck, so we're running Intangible Virtue. We've got double token creators like Raise the Alarm, Sunset Revelry, Forbidden Friendship, um, Sapperling Migration, Burden Command makes two tapped 1-1 one, one green squirrels. Um, of course, we can run Lightning Helix because we've got white and red. Uh, Join the Dance is a double token creator. Finale of Glory is an X token creator. Uh, Arcane Signet is required in every deck, just because. Um, this didn't sort to the top with the cat sorting. We did get scattered groves, but uh, Faceless Agent is also a cat. Mass Vandal is also a cat. They're changelings. Uh, Faceless Agent is going to draw us 
a creature card of the most prevalent creature type in our library, which will be cat. Believe it or not. Um, Cabaret Charm can double token. Uh, Battle for Bread Guard not only double tokens, but can make more copies of tokens. If we have this in hand, or we know we're going to play it, we draw it, we, this is the one time we'd maybe want to make dogs or other tokens with our tokens, because that third chapter is use any number of artifact tokens and or creature tokens you control with different names and for each create a token that's a copy of them and uh really excellent in the decks if you've got them or you really want to spend the wild cards parallel lives and anointed procession i got them both in here they double tokens um they actually have the exact same text don't they wow um I got Conclave Tribunal and Settle the Wreckage and Wandering Emperor for removal. Wandering Emperor can also make tokens. Um, Bylath can come down and make a bunch of tokens. Burn Down the House has a mode where it makes three tokens. It's also a board wipe. Rabble Rousing can make a bunch of tokens. Mana Base. A couple I want to point out here. So Kenzin, Crucible of Defiance, creates tokens. The Dwarven Mine, if you can get three mountains down, can create a token when it comes in. And County Garden creates a token so you can play it with the commander out as i believe we do in a game that you will see um you get a token so that is the deck if i don't haven't posted the deck list in the description yet uh leave me a comment and let me know to do that and let's go to the matches Hey, hey, before we get to those matches, let me just say uh, super thanks to everyone who's a subscriber. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers right now. I'm going to do a giveaway when I do. So if you like to get free cards and you want to know about that, definitely hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave comments. All that good stuff really helps the channel. I'm going to try to keep bringing you more content, but encouragement always helps. I'm a busy dad, and uh, I do love to get the feedback. So without further ado, let's go to the matches. Jenai, run Jenai. Life is like a box of tokens. You never know what you're gonna get. Um, man, if we could be sure to get another land, we'd be in good shape. Tap lands though. Let's just mulligan. All right, this is better. We don't have a turn one play. Toru Umazawa, that's a good, good commander. I have a feeling we're about to get ninjutsued here. Or Neathopter of Paradise. Uh, should we risk them? We don't really have much to do other than play the commander. I have a feeling that it's going to get removed, but you never know. Treasure Vault. Maybe they'll play their commander. They do. An attack for one unblockable. Possibly. Oh, Silver Raven. Brian. Me a river. All right, we have a tough decision here. We could Conclave Tribunal, their commander. We could play Battle for Bredegard, start building on our board, and just let them do their thing. They can ninjutsu. Something huge. They have four mana. I guess we're uh, we're conclaving. They just have to play one more land though. They just replay that. Oh, a little time walk. Okay, replicating ring. That's not a land. They smack in for small pings. Not worried about it. He ain't sweating. Hmm. I think we're gonna battle for bread of God. Turn this into a hasty cat. 
go in. Tasty vigilant cats. You don't have to make a dog for vigilance. You just got to have intangible virtue. I wonder actually if we could have made the two squirrels, because this creates some tap, but this replaces, Jenny Fay replaces them, I believe. Okay. The sledge monster is going to sledge up Jenny Fay. Make our squirrels now. We're gonna gain some life, and we're gonna make some squirrels. Yeah, they still become untapped. If any fairy has lost abilities, that might not matter though. Um, the next chapter of this is going to give us bonuses for one of each different name, I believe. So, and actually, we did that in the wrong order. We played that first, then we could have anointed processioned. Well, no tax. What you gonna do, opponent? I got quite the board here. It's about to get plus one, plus one, Vigilance, Trample, Indestructible. This is the right order. Anyways, Battle for Bredegard into chapter three of this, into chapter three of that. It'll be a good next two turns. Oh, it is time warping. Okay. So. Five mana, draw a card, <laughs> do two damage. Just build up the replicating ring. Red Feast Demon, holy camole. Nice. Big, that's a big hitter. One, two, three, four. Um, I think I'm no attacks. Actually, I could Ginny attack with Ginny Fay and just replay it. Maybe I just had enough guys to attack with, honestly. Even if they eat, like, three of these guys. Oops. Still learning how to play this deck here, folks. Alright, they can swing me for a bunch. But my crackback will be strong. Bring the dancer. Maybe choose lifelink. I don't know if it's going to help. My whole board's going to be vigilance, trample, and destructible next turn. So Take some serious damage. chariot. Um, well, I can get one more hasty cat. So, no procession then, Jenny Fay, I believe. Oh. I'll attack. Is it enough? Block 
the four fours. Good game, they say. You're gonna play it out. You're gonna let Arena do the math. They did get lifelink here, so I gotta deal 22 damage with what they don't block. Let's see, did we get there? Oh yeah! Mm. Cat Tribal taking down the ninjas. Historically brawling with Ginny Fay. Ooh, against Adeline. Could be a very fast game. I didn't play anything turn one. Dang. Uh, maybe we'll go for a turn one play here. Into the north. They play like board wipes or something? Are they trying to trick us here? The red green snow land. what they're doing here. First strike? Yeah, no attacks. Advantage. Um, kind of inclined to. Oh, okay. <laughs> Victory. Versus what is that? Falco or something? Falco Spara, Pact Weaver. I don't remember what that does. It is 3-3 three, three Flying Trample. Enters the battlefield with a shield counter. You can look at the top card of your library at any time, and you can cast spells from the top of your library by removing a counter from a creature you control. Okay. That was, that was a pretty uh, strong commander, I think. You can build it pretty strong anyway. Oof. Need one more mana. I guess we got the Leafkin Druid. We can try to ramp with that. Only first, too. Go tap land. Go. Grateful apparition. Pretty good in their deck. Might be worth uh, Lord's Plashing that. Kodama of the West Tree. Another enabler. Oh, so should we just get on our plan? Let's stick to our plan. Tax. Guess I should tap that and hold up source of Well, oops. Ranger class. Still no counters on anything. Okay, now they can put counters on everything they want. The Valor stance that sucker. But they got some serious value off of it. Branch a lot. Looks like we need a lot of light this game. That out 
that now. And, uh... I wonder if we Chaos Warp the Ranger class, if that does anything for us. We Chaos Warp into something crazy. Let's, let's spin the wheel. Spin the dial. Yes, we swords this, right? They're gonna swords Jenny Fay. Oh, snakeskin veil. Nice. The one mana they had open. Well, that's about game. Attacks. I guess I can get another red man and just burn down the house here. The Falco is going to survive because it's going to have a bajillion shield counters on it. I might have flipped the wrong uh, creature. This Grateful Apparition is uh, a serious problem. Frontland Felidar is going to do it. I don't care. I have any way? Ooh, Enclave Tribunal will do it. Is a way to remove the old Falco Reno. We're back in it. We're back in the game. Burn down the house. Oh, they just were able to replay it that quickly. Burn down the house. Get rid of one of the shield counters. Oh lord. This will let us blow up artifacts if they happen to play something. Uh, maybe they're down to three cards, but of course they can cast off the top of their library. They don't have any way to proliferate the counters anymore, though. Yet. Branching evolution. That would definitely make a difference. We're going to get the war leader down first. Actually, we should have feline sovereign there. No tax. We feel in Sovereign that we could have um, blown up an encampment. Okay. Well, maybe not. Wandering Emperor. There. I've learned much during my travels. Let me show you. I That's game. Rough, rough. Getting caddy on a Tuesday. Hey, we just played this guy. Played Satoru Umezawa. This is popular. I'll keep it. Uh, 
the mana go. Rogue big clan. Mana. Do I hold back the sapling migration? Maybe not. Why not? Let's just get on the board. Next turn, I think, will wedding announcement. We can be attacking with two creatures. Yeah, they're cycling neutralized. It's a good sign. Good sign. Next turn, I like the idea of playing Jenny Fay and dropping Colony Garden to make a two-two hasty cat. Depending on what blockers they have. This thing, they can pump to give their creatures menace. They, they got their commander down now. Take that cat! Attacks. Make another cat! Did just take her? Take her commander, yeah. Why don't we just play it next turn again? We really feel like it. Join the Dansu. Um? Hmm. Yeah, let's back in. I didn't need to be able to push damage. On the other hand, maybe it's just best to get some cats down. Maybe a cat, please. Not a cat. Oh. No attack. And, okay. Another win against Satoru. Right. Against Kethis. Kethis combo. Zero green mana. I love to see Yatmir, but... Uh, Alright, there's green mana. This should be good. Maybe I should have played the Lightning Helix 5. Last turn. Kethis, Kethis. Burning down the house. Oh, how good this would be against Kethis. Cub Warden's fine. Play Jenny into Cub Warden. But does Jenny survive is a huge question. Kethis taking their time. Come on, Kathis. Having practical Kathics. All right, we'll return when they do. Well, they timed uh, out there. We do not control planes, so that would enter taps. So let's just uh, let's play Jenny Fay. We will still see. If they don't kill Ginny Fay here, we got this Cub Warden mutate. Should be a pretty good, 
You're gonna hit. What are they gonna do? Okay, so they didn't get the mana for Cactus. They did get. Oh, now they got it. <laughs> but, uh. It's slow. We coming in fast. Hard and fast. See them cats. And tap. Get her for seven, gain three. Kathy. Oh, it's a three four though. Wow. That's um pretty strong. I think probably wanna get this down. Get in, I think they block here. They don't, they don't. It's gonna be a good part for our deck going right to it. Pretty sure there's like a combo with uh, Mox Amber, or maybe you need two Mox Amber so you can't play the combo. Did take the bait. Magow. No, do we play this just to draw a card? Do you think they're not leaving Kethis in the graveyard? They might be the kind of deck that has a lot of graveyard recursion. Right. Could be useful. Ashar is another combo piece. Mangara the Diplomat. An annoying card. Draw a lot of cards off of that. Really? I don't really want to attack into it because they gain two. I would gain three. I'd much rather keep their life total low. Hmm. With double spelling, this is a, a hasty cat every turn. Play this. Tapped. That's the turn. We'll hold up the Ephemerate. Might need to save our commander. This is back. Faceless agent. Some cats. Find some cats, Mr. Agent. Moment, thinking about it. Have a one mana kill spell? 
They could have sourced the plowshares. I'm right, no text. <coughs> I wonder if that blinking enchantment would be good in this deck. That's, uh, stuff that generates the TB. Ooh, lightning bolt. Huh. Uh, Feline Sovereign is pretty good. Oh, because Ephemerate cast counted as casting a spell anyways. Yeah, so I may as well double, triple, whatever spell. You know they've got Teshar in hand. But they could probably get Chromatic Lantern back pretty easily. Blow up the growing rights. The bolt, keeping Mangara. They've already drawn a bajillion cards off of. And we can play Black Market Tycoon and hope they don't have a board wipe and there are a million cards in hand. We got cats! Cats, do 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 do. We have really got some cats. Captain Sissy, wow. They've definitely got some combo they're setting up. Make a like a cat. It's interesting because this gives all our guys vigilance. I wonder if we actually play. Oh no, this doesn't give vigilance. That's Kahira. That's the Kahira combo. I'm oh, really thinking hard. I'm not sure what activation they even have here. They can exile two legendary cards from their graveyard. Be able to play legendaries. We did them a favor, I guess, by putting a legendary in the graveyard. Make more cats.
Do we have lethal here? I can only block three. I think we had all attack. Yeah. <sighs> Ooh, yeah. Cats. All right, stick around for the wrap up. Okay, so uh, now that we've played, what would I change about this deck? I'm going to take out Phylas. <laughs> I don't think we need a Dwarven Mine either. Just go up another snow covered mountain for that, probably. Um, probably don't want Garrison Cat. I was wondering if um, Rin and Siri, if I have that on this account. Doesn't look like I do. This is another option here. Whenever you cast a dog spell, create a cat. Whenever you cast a cat spell, create a dog. We're going to be casting a lot of cat spells, and we can just turn those dogs into cats. A 4 4 for 4, and then it can deal damage to any target equal to the number of dogs, and then gain life equal to the number of cats. Um, something to consider, anyway. I've got the wild cards right now, so I guess, well, I don't need to craft it. Something to consider. I don't think Frontland Felidar needs to be in there. Um, what else was not so great in this deck? Uh, I mean, if you want, actually, <laughs> I think what I'm going to do at some point is create the Jenny Fay Dog Lady version of this deck. Leave a comment if you'd like to see this same deck, but with the Dog Tribal version. Uh, I think that would be fun to play and see which one is better. I'm guessing the cats is better, but you never know. Um, other than that, what did I cut that... Uh, well, like, I, I could, you could put in, because you're kind of mandated to put in now the, what is it, Fable of the Mirror Breaker? Oh, no, that's in there. I've already got that in there. Um, I put Fable Passage, actually, in my mana base, so... I'm going to take out that mountain. Um, I feel like there's some other good I did cut like there's stuff that makes goblins like there are two of these there's one called dragon fodder this one and then there's like um, another one that makes two one one goblins let's search one one goblin Goblin tokens. Um, and then there's this Hordling Outburst, which makes three 1-1 one -one goblins. Siege Gang Commander is actually interesting. Gucci comes down with three goblins. Could be something else to consider. I think probably what I would put in is just more removal. So like exile-based removal, if there's stuff that would hit... Um, Planeswalkers. I was looking at like Devout Decree. It's most things in the format. We don't really have a way to sift it away if it's a dead card, but um, so many people playing the, the black and the red at the moment. And then I don't know what we would play next. Maybe Seal Away, but that's creature only. Maybe something else like Banishing Light, like Borrowed Time. Another, another Banishing type effect. Um, and since we're not restricted by Kahira, we could, you know, you could cut down some cats and make it a bit more competitive because uh, I did lose a lot of games <laughs> testing out and uh, trying to record this video. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me here in the attic. I've been Mana Dad, and remember Magic is a game so fun. Even dads can enjoy it. Adios.